So, Andrew's having you know, epilase is the most advanced, the most advanced non-cutting technique. Well, Carmen well, Lace is the only center offering this uh, epilase. I hit it one more time. Five hundred. So the epilase, what it does, is just uh, remove the epithelium in a very neat way. So the edges are left very, very clean, and the recovery is quicker. So it has a quicker recovery and more comfort recovery. So you can see that she will be able to. Um, it's already loose that epithelium. You can see here the is basically just remove it so easily. See? And it's out completely in one clean shape. Then Dr. The Chin, we just get make sure that the braid they're not the raise inside uh, before starting the laser portion. Yes. Yes, a lot of people, especially those not involved in the refractive so even general ophthalmologists and optometrists. Uh, they get confused with the old-fashioned TRK, which is basic uh, and LASIK and AP LASIK. TRK is a technique been in the market for over 30 years now. It's a pioneer non-cutting technique, which they basically have to scrape the cornea, even if it's very fine. That is not only painful, but it causes it's ready. It causes a lot of inflammation, so the recovery is very very slow. It takes two to three weeks. And similar to like sex, which normally takes about four days, four or five days, depending on who the surgeon is, meaning it's a very well done like sex to be shorter. For the epilepsy, which where Dr. Chin is done, oh, he uses fun. this instrument here, that's the handle for the AB separator, and uh, that centurion AB keratin. So it's basically removing that epithelium for a more comfortable recovery and very very fast recovery so just this weekend Andrew will need to keep your eyes closed after that he will be able to go back to your normal activities Dr. Ching has performed uh, more than 20,000 cases zero complications where in fact the only OR we have the only glass OR in the whole East Coast and probably in the US and we have this basically for everyone to see because we completely got rid of possibilities of problems in the OR. Not doing, not offering our patients the cutting techniques that that uh, are the cause of 90% of possibilities of having a problem after laser vision correction. Dr. Ching is a Dartmouth, Columbia, Harvard trained surgeon who is specialized later on the fact surgeon with the most experienced surgeon alive, which is Dr. George Warren III. Now, not too many people uh, get decide to have surgery when they have a low prescription. They say, oh, maybe it might not work. Yeah, no, or they, they, they don't think it's worth it or something like that. But I, I normally tell people if it's worth wearing glasses or contacts, it's worth it. Um, if you notice it, it's worth it. And if you do something special, like people want to go to special forces or hunting or whatever kind of special thing they want to do, uh, then it's worth it. The lower the prescription, the less the risk. So his, his surgery is essentially risk free. Now this is not the same for LASIK because uh, there's, you have oh, yeah. to balance the risk yeah. and back, the benefit, yeah. huh? Back, back when I was doing LASIK, I wouldn't do you because there's no risk, the risk-benefit ratio of cutting a flap and then doing this because the flap could be screwed up about one in a thousand times. I don't want to make you see the worst, you see what I'm saying? But, but when I switched to, uh, from LASIK to the safe side, 
my limit for LASIK was like most ethical surgeon in the United States, minus one, something like that. Minus one, um, eh? Now we'll go all the way down to minus 0.25. Okay, we're actually going to be the first center in the world well, this year to take someone who's 2020 and make him better than 2020. One of our fellows, he's a, a guy who came here from Argentina, his entire family's ophthalmologist uh, back home. He's 2020, but he wants to be 2015, and he's seen hundreds of people come across 2015, and he's like, hey, I want to do it to get to 2015. So one of our doctors is going to be the first person, I think, in the United States to go into the, uh, the surgery 2020 to get 2015. That's amazing. And I know I can do that. And then we'll do a little preview lens to show him that. And then we'll, we'll leave him uh, laser his epithelium first because your epithelium grows back. So his prescription is so small that we can put it just on the skin of the eye. We'll see 20, 2015 for like a, a week or two until it grows back. If he likes it, then we'll do it on his cornea, which is permanent because the cornea doesn't, doesn't grow back. If he doesn't like it, we just don't do anything. It's back to the way he was. So that's also the first time that's ever going to be done, I think, in the world. So you're ready to uh, open your eyes and be... Uh, for me, it's not going to be that amazing because you went that bad to be right. You can go to when And to be fair, you need to cover your right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just better, right? What if you cover the other eye? Cover the eye we didn't, we didn't laser. Yeah, it's yeah. Cool, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're going to read the, the letters on the truck. Yeah, yeah, Metro or whatever. So um, you'll get to 2020 by next week. And I really oh, think it's going to be 2015 by the uh, first week of February. Okay. What kind of work did you do? I forgot. Oh, I thought you were like a professional athlete or something. No. no, no, no. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Thank you.